Well, as you can see, we have another car in the studio today, but before we reveal it, let's have a chat to its owner, Mr Bradley Walsh, who has joined us live from the Chase studio this morning. Hello, Bradley. Good to see you. Morning, Holly. Morning, Phil. Are you well? Yeah, yeah really very good. good. So, listen, this, you've lent us this beautiful car of yours, which we'll reveal in just a moment. But first yes. of all, where did this begin for you? Because even since you were a little boy, you were obsessed with Bond. Absolutely, and I had the DB5 car you had in yesterday as a, as a corgi toy, always been a Bond fan, and I always wanted a DB5. And about four or five years ago, uh, I was asked, I went to buy one and have a look at buying one, and I drove it, and I wasn't, it was like an old car, is what it is, it's an old car, and didn't really happen for me. So I thought, well, listen, the thing is, the DB5, then the DB6, Aston Martin, made they never continued that with the classic british lines and i thought well why don't it's ultimate engineering in aston martin why haven't they developed a modern car with those classic looks mm. so then i thought do you know what i'm going to build one and so <laughs> uh i sat down with some engineers and designers and we took three and a half years it's about three and a half years and it's been completed this year it's called the vantare and it means boast or praise in italian and it's taken a lot of blood, sweat and tears to get it there, okay. but I'm so thrilled with the car, I really am. Well, let's have a look at it. I really uh, am. We're going, oh, to, and, uh, we're going to unveil it now. Okay. I, I can't believe you've never actually driven it. We'll come to that in just a moment. Hold but on, hold here on, hold on. is Ready? Bradley's car. And I haven't oh, seen... Oh, wow. God, I haven't actually oh, seen it, Brad. That's the, this is the first time. Brad, <gasps> it is beautiful. Holy oh cow! Yeah. So what's it yeah. what's it made out of? Okay, so the actual uh, car itself, what well, you can't call it, we can't call it an Aston Martin Vantari because it wasn't built by Aston Martin. Although everything on it is Aston Martin, the engine, running gear, chassis. I, I we had all the wheels uh, remade, had all the glass in it redone, uh, the designers, the bodywork, the interior. I just took a DB9 and we completely stripped it. We left the engine, the running gear, as I say, the chassis, and just put body on it. And if you go onto a website called uh, BAE, that's the British Automotive Engineering Company, uh, their website, Vantare, you'll see how we came about it and, and how it all started. And the difference between that car and the car you had in yesterday, that is a modern car, and it does just under 200 miles per hour. My God, well, uh, Bradley, it's you... A, it's um... a bit... Of, a lot of people won't know about it's you a... because it seems like a big stretch to suddenly go, oh, I'm just going to build a car. But that's actually where you started. Yeah. You started in engineering. I did. I was a, a Rolls-Royce apprentice engineer and ended up going to their technical school and up at Leavesden, Watford, which is where I'm from originally, which, uh, strange enough, made all the James Bond films with Pierce Brosnan and now is the Harry Potter film studios. But that's where I learnt to build helicopter engines. So I was a helicopter engineer for five years and so my engineering background and uh, a bit of design. And so that's where it all comes from. That's where my love of engineering comes from. And so we've ended up, as I say, three and a half years ago, looking to build a car for me. And, and that's, what, that's what you see now. And it is, it is as I say, underneath, it's an, it's an Aston Martin six-litre V12 DB9. Nice. That's what it's based on. But we stripped it back and put it all back together again with a new body, carbon fibre, the best carbon engineers, fiber, yeah. the best coach builders I could find in Britain. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and so, I mean, this is 001. This is the only one on the planet. Are you, are you doing more? The only one on the planet, yeah. Well, strangely enough, Phil, I've been offered unbelievable amount of money for that, and I don't, I don't want to sell it, but I will, make, I will make some more. Yeah, I think I'll make ten, and we've already had interest from the Middle East and the United States of America yeah. uh, to, to, build, to build them, because we really soft-launched it this year at Goodwood Festival Speed and Goodwood Revival, so it got fantastic uh, feedback, and the amount of people that want to, want to have one built uh, is, is extraordinary, and... There, there you go. I'm, I mean, someone I would like to keep, if it gets to the point, I would like to keep 007. Yes. That's yeah, what I'd yeah, like yeah, to yeah, keep. Yeah. Um, so the one, the, the continuation yeah. series DB5 that we had in yesterday, that was that is a new car. It was only built last year, but uh, but the spec was exactly right. 1964. Um, the, even the engine was was uh, sort of rebuilt in the style of that 1964 engine. Absolutely. It was 2.7. Yeah. Yours doesn't have guns, which is a shame. Um, it was, and obviously, no. you, <laughs> not, not, you won't be able to put petrol in it, because 
there isn't any. Uh, so, but it, it was two point eight million for that DB five yesterday for Aston Martin. Um, yeah. now, I'm not. Um, obviously, zero zero one is is going to be the most expensive. But how much is zero zero two? We don't. I don't know yet, uh, Phil. Haven't put a price on it simply because. Uh, we haven't put that net together. So what we'll have to do, uh, we'll go away, discuss it. Uh, the second car is in production at the moment. Um, uh, as I say, the, handed it over to a company called BAE, British Automotive Engineering. And they'll, yeah, this is the car Aston Martin should have built, the continuation. This is the car Aston Martin should have built. And this is the car James Bond should be driving. Classic lines <laughs> from modern era. One day. Maybe, Maybe one, one day, day Brad. Brad. Thank you. Thank you. One day. She's beautiful. We'll look after Cheers, guys. Lots of love. It is absolutely God bless. Cheers, stunning. guys. Gorgeous, eh? Nice. So nice. Solid. So nice. Solid. <laughs>